Okay, we have just finished covering the aliphatics, alkanes, alkenes, alkynes, and cyclos. So aliphatics are, are either straight chain or circles. Uh, and then we're going to cover the aromatics, another group of hydrocarbons, hydrogen carbons only. And the aromatics contain a benzene ring or, or a phenyl group. It's the same thing, but it's just we name them differently sometimes. So an aromatic base, you can recognize an aromatic in its molecular formula because it'll have a C6H6 base. So, so sometimes it'll look like this, C6H5CH3, because I had to take off one of the hydrogens in order to tuck on that methyl group. Uh, what the C6H6 looks like is this. So in 1929, they developed what's called the Cucol model. So here it's a group of six carbons in a circle where the double bond is alternating on every other uh, every other carbon, but they understood that this double bond didn't exist as double, single, double, single, double, single. And they knew this because they could measure the length. And so therefore this could be short, long, short, long, short, long, uh, the reactivity, this spot should act like a double bond when it reacts. This spot should act like a single bond when it reacts. And they didn't find that at all. They found that actually it was the same bond length the whole way around. And they found that it was um, uh, the same reactivity. And so they decided that maybe it alternates really quick. So instead of the double bond being here one second, the next second it switches to the other alternation. And so they wondered if this just sort of flops back and forth. It's called resonance. Maybe it resonates between those two models super fast. Uh, and that was in 1929. And then they discovered that actually it's not about that. It's about the pi orbitals overlapping. Uh, there are lots of other videos out there that which can show the animation of the pi orbitals overlapping. So pi orbital is like a, is what a double bond is. And if it's not actually alternating, but rather this guy is amalgamating into this guy, which is amalgamating into that guy, which is amalgamating into that guy, what I have is this circle region at the uh, in the middle. And so this circle region in the middle uh, acts like a donut, okay? So there's like a donut at the top and a donut at the bottom and then my carbons in the center. And this brings a huge amount of stability to this benzene ring. So it is like amazingly stable. It's also cancer causing, found in cigarettes. And they're called aromatics because they have an aroma, a little like cigarettes have an aroma, like the tobacco aroma. Uh, so some of them are very stinky. Most of them actually are very stinky aromas, but also you could have benzene rings in much more complicated molecules and, and they give a rise to smells like uh, chocolate and vanilla and all sorts of lovely smells. Uh, don't quote me on chocolate and vanilla. I would have to do a quick little look to see. But um, okay, so... Uh, aromatics, naming aromatics is uh, a different kind of naming system again. Uh, so uh, two phenyl pentane. So I know it's an aromatic because of this word phenyl in there. And what a phenyl means is it means it has this hanging out as a branch. So if I see phenyl with a YL, that's the branch of a benzene ring. Okay. So that means that I have a branch of a benzene ring, whereas Benzene by itself in the naming means it's part of the parent chain. Okay, so let's do this. So this is the parent chain, pentane. So how do I do that? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That's my pentane. And then off of carbon two, let me just switch colors here. Off of carbon two, I have a phenyl. So off of carbon two, I have a phenyl. Okay, so off of carbon two, I have a phenyl, and that is my pentane. And by the way, or this, right? One, two, three, four, <clears throat> off of carbon two, because I can name it left to right or right to left. It doesn't matter. Uh, same, 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 right? Or I could zigzag down and up instead of up and down. Whatever. Okay, you get it, right? Take this off the board, turn it around. It's the same molecule. Flip it upside down, same molecule. Okay, um, so let's name this one then. Uh, I can see I've got, uh, if I were to name that as my parent chain, that is crazy town. I couldn't name that. That's like ridiculous, right? So I'm not going to name this as my, as my branch. I don't have a name for this. It's not butyl or pentyl or methyl. It's crazy town. Oh. Hmm. Uh, so this has to be my parent chain. So I'm going to make this my parent chain here. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then I'm not going to have a branch off of a branch anymore. So here's a, a methyl branch, here's an ethyl branch, here's a methyl branch, and here's a phenyl branch. Okay. So my parent chain is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So how do I say nine? I say non. They're all singly bonded. So it's a non ane. Oops. Non ane. And then uh, who, how am I going to number it? I'm going to play the game, right? I want to be carbon one. I want to be carbon one. I hit a branch. Oops, me too. Uh, and let's keep going then. I hit a branch. No, no. Oops, I hit a branch too. Uh-oh. So now we have a tie. I have two branches. I have two branches, so it's still a tie. So then we have to go to alphabetical. So is ethyl lower in the alphabet or is phenyl lower in the alphabet and ethyl is... So that numbering system gets numbered first. Fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, what am I doing? Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so this is going to be uh, ethyl gets written down first in the alphabet. So five ethyl and then uh, L M N O P. So methyls come next. So there's a methyl on carbon two and a methyl on carbon eight. That is two methyls, definitely run out of space. And then all on carbon five, I have a phenyl. And once again, this was a non-ane. So five ethyl, two eight dimethyl, five non-ane is the word for today. Okay, the next one is going to be, um, where my benzene is my parent chain. So here the benzene is in the circle and things are coming off of it. Uh, whereas opposed to here, it's it's not like I have a branch off of a branch. Here I'd have a branch off of a branch. Uh, I also don't have that as my central with, with lots of things coming off of it. Here, this is my central, lots of things coming off of it. So this is gonna be my parent chain. When your aromatic compound is your parent chain, then the end isn't like nonane, but is rather just lovely benzene. Okay, nice and simple benzene. And so now then I have uh, my two branches. I have a methyl branch here and I have, okay, this is super important. Don't count that as part of your branch. That's what students will do. Whereas this is the start of my branch. So one, two, three, four, five. So this is a pentyl branch, not a hexyl branch that's already included in, in my benzene parent chain, okay? So pentyl and methyl LM, NOP, so methyl gets written down first. So I'm going to designate that as my carbon one. So this is going to be like a, a one methyl and then two, three, so three pentyl. P-E-N-T-Y-L, benzene. So one methyl, three pentyl benzene. And lastly, I can see that benzene is my parent chain again. So I'm going to put benzene. And you'll notice I'm using a variety of uh, benzene diagrams. That one, which is like horrible, but whatever. And this one where the double bond alternates on every one. You need to be familiar with both. Uh, normally when we're drawing them, this is the most common drawing, but in terms of like a computer typing, that is the most common. So you just have to be used to both of them. Okay, so anyway, there's my benzene parent chain. And then it says I need a, I need two methyls off of carbon two and four and one methyl, uh, one ethyl, pardon me, off of carbon one. Okay, so let's make this carbon one and let's go one, two for my ethyls. Let's make uh, this a uh, two, four. So let's make this carbon two three, four for my diethyls, CH3, CH3, CH2, CH3, and that's that compound finished. Okay, so that's aromatics. You can recognize an aromatic uh, as a hydrocarbon that has a benzene ring in it.